Hello guys, welcome back again. Um, yeah, so today I want to talk about growing carrots in a pot. Um, this this one is basically from the video I did when we was growing in a small space, right? So what I want to do is show you that it's possible for us to grow, you know, even if it's like say, you know, a, a, a reasonable amount of carrots. It could be up to say 30 carrots in one small pot. It could be up to 20, it could be up to 10, you know, depending on how big you'd like your carrots to develop eventually. So today, what I'm trying to do is just give it a little clean and I'm going to give it some, you know, some of my favorite fertilizer, which is, you know, coffee grinder. I'm going to mix it in the top half of it, right? And I'm going to give it a little bit of water. And basically, I just want to show you, you know, how we do that. And if you'd like to do it, too, try this at home. All right? So if you come closer, I'll show you what's going on. All right, so if we, if we open it and we look down, we can see that, we've, you know, the carrots are developing really well, right? Um, also, I've got these kale plants that I just see up here out of nowhere, so I'm going to be pulling these guys out. Uh, maybe I'll maybe I'll report them, right? Maybe I'll put them in another pot. Because right. as it's winter, not a lot grows. Only this kind of stuff grows in the winter. And I do I do keep my carrots in the small little greenhouse so it doesn't get hit too much by the wind. So the leaves still kind of stay fresh. I think I see another kill from there again. I'm gonna put this aside for now, guys. So basically. Coffee granules, I said, very important. You know, it's like it's like a natural fertilizer. It's not the strongest, yeah. So don't expect to put it on and see your plants go bush. Yeah, it's not it's not like steroids for plants. It's just natural, organic, slow release fertilizer. If you're not in a rush, eventually you'll see the result. And it's the kind of fertilizer where you can just keep using the soil. You know, the soil just stays as it is because you're constantly putting the coffee granules in it. So if you come close, I'll just show you how I spread. The coffee granules in here so i'm just basically sprinkling it in between i don't know if you can see sprinkling it down just over the top don't worry the leaves will bounce back and i don't take a lot just literally a handful i did have Because if you put too much in, you can also stop the water from going down. So, actually, I'll take a little bit more. I see some space I didn't get in. That's about double the amount of this. That should be enough for pot. Guys, like I said, I like to see bugs and little animals, you know, little things, critters running around my soil. I do, because when I see that, I see life. And life is organic, you know. You don't have no if your soil is not organic and it's all toxic or whatever nothing will grow in there or even the bugs want to come in your soil so try to keep your soil as organic as possible when you see bugs in there it's a good thing right, so i'm then just going to massage let's try to massage it in in between what's on the top layer not too deep just on top but so that it doesn't clog up and become clumps Now at the moment, as I'm looking, I don't really see that there's much thinning to be done in here. They seem to be growing reasonably, you know, reasonably apart. So I'm going to basically just leave them like this. Another thing I tend to do as well is look to see if there's any snails or slugs in there. And our little friend, there's a little baby one. Yeah, so when you see these guys, try to get them out. And just generally just give it a clean because sometimes, you know, you get weeds in there. It blows in, you know. I don't know how they start to grow, but they do. So we just give it a quick little clean. And as you can see, the leaves, leaves are green, beautiful. They seem to be growing healthy. Yeah, we got some, you know, a little bit of slug damage or, or snail damage. But like I say, you just have to keep an eye out. Just be vigilant over your plant. And I literally don't give this any, um, any other fertilizer. You know what I'm saying to you? So yeah, I mean, you can see the result by the way it's growing. So I'm hoping to see, you know, how the carrots in here develop. And when they do what they do, I'll come and show you. All right, guys, so live well, and together we grow.